Christmas. You're wearing green. I am. Did you do that on purpose? Uh, yeah. Welcome to our winter wonderland, everybody. Oh no. <laughs> I'm trying. Here. Nothing at all up. All right, so what we've got here today is a Christmas activity and we're gonna feel like we're like five. <laughs> today we just kind of wanted to talk about Christmas memories with you guys, but we're also gonna do it while decorating this lovely cake that Matt baked. Um, we picked up a, is that a Swiss Miss hot cocoa cake mix. <laughs> hot cocoa cake mix. And then we got marshmallow cream for frosting, that frosting that he's eating. It's nothing fancy, we've got some sprinkles, but we just thought we were gonna sit and talk um, Christmas memories with you guys and what we wanna hear from you guys after you watch this video, what we wanna hear from you guys in the comments below is what are some of your favorite Christmas memories? Just the memories that have stuck with you over the years? <laughs> it's not working. It's what the crumb coat is for. What's the crumb coat? Like that, but different. I'm trying to spread it. It's too cold. It shouldn't be this cold. Yeah, you could start while I work on the uh, crumb warm coat. This up? Nah, we'll just we'll just go with it, you know. So my first memory, I don't know which which order it is. Like I don't know. I'm 31 now. Yes, you're 31. That is correct. Yeah. So all my memories from like youth all run together, but there's definitely one memory that really stay up, like stood out, and it's something that I was gonna pass on. I don't know if Eva would enjoy it. It's more, I guess, a boy's toy, but it's a uh, pirate ship, and I think they still sell them today in a knight's castle. And so it's like these little figurines, like but like not too small, right? It's like a good size. And it has uh, cannonballs that it shoots, and uh, so I would have the pirate ship attack the, the castle, you know, because that's real life. Was that on your list, or was that something that... I have no idea, I but I, just remember, I remember getting it. You got it from Santa Claus? I got it from Santa. You still Sitting have that, too, don't ran, you? I, I do. It's uh, actually in the container. Evil, uh, will, just right outside. Evil will like that. Evil will like I would have liked that as a kid, for sure. I yeah. mean, we can get, like... I, I mean, she might be fine with the knights and stuff, but we can get like little princesses to play in there too. You know, princesses live in castles. There's like secret layers and you rotate something and the knight falls through or there's like hidden passages in the uh, pirate ship. It's fun. But that's definitely like, that one stood out. Like as a gift, that stood out. And I do have another memory, but I'll probably leave it over to you and not come back to me. You got this. This is terrible. This is just the undercoat. This is, this is this is flavoring. Yeah. Oh man, this is gonna be so good though. By the way, what we did with this cake, although this is the frosting just completely makes it um, pointless, but we did a pumpkin cake. We did a pumpkin. We did pumpkin in the cake. It was a chocolate cake mix from Swiss Miss, and we threw a can of pumpkin in it. That's it. It's That's just that. a can of pumpkin. And cake mix. I think it's a Weight Watchers recipe. I actually got it from your mom from when we first started dating. And you just do a can of pumpkin and any box cake mix. And you mix it together. You minus, might have to add a little bit of water, right? Minus the oil, right? It's, it takes the, the place of the Or the oil. eggs. Yeah. It's, didn't, you didn't put eggs in it, right? I did. Oh. Well, you're not supposed to. But anyway. You didn't tell me that. I did tell you. What? That's fine. No yes. water? Uh, just little bits of water to add thickness. I've been doing it for years. Like you said, your mom told me about it. But it makes it, I mean, it's it's super moist. The pumpkin makes it really moist and it's like, it's not it's not healthy because it's, you know, like a box cake mix has a ton of sugar as is. <laughs> as as but you rub in this. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit easier to fit it into your daily intake. But of course, now that we're doing this, like it doesn't matter. I just like pumpkin. So, I think that's good. memory. Okay, so now that we have the crumb coat, this shouldn't be as messy to put on. In theory, I learned it from a baking show. But you have to be very, very gentle. <laughs> uh -huh. um, a favorite Christmas memory of mine, when we were in our first house in Austin, I was probably five or so, we went out one evening to look at Christmas lights, and we used to do that every year. I think it was on Christmas Eve, we would always go as a family and look at Christmas lights. <laughs> Let it just let it happen. Uh, there's me, and I'm one of four kids, and then my parents. We'd all get in the car and drive around and look at Christmas lights around the neighborhoods. And we went pretty late one night, and we got back, and I was really worried that Santa was gonna pass by our house because we weren't home. Does we it happen the year before or what? 
and Santa had came, had, had come while we were gone. And um, he also, that year <coughs> I got um, a big Simba stuffed animal, like, and when, at the time it was like as big as I was, and I was a big fan of uh, Lion King. Still am. To but, the point where you got called Ryan King. Yeah, right? I got called Ryan King. That was my gift from Santa, and he had come while we were out, and that was just pretty cool. And yeah, I just like, I mean, it's stuck with me ever since. I think that's the first, that's really the first Christmas memory that I have. Um, well, you're going to remember this one. This cake? Mm hmm. This looks awful. It's so bad. Can they, they can't see it that well. Like, <laughs> There's a reason. It's so Stop looking at it. It's so It's bad. not done yet. Here, you do that one. That That's me shifting my weight. <laughs> Don't be rude. Shifting your weight. Shut up. <laughs> no, I gave you some right there to smooth out. Oh, okay. So, the next memory I have is actually when I saw Santa. You did? I saw Santa. So I have heard the tales. Have you? Well, you know, I was just a little little lad and uh just hit sitting in the the kitchen there, you know, looking up at the sky and like kids do. And uh then I saw this streak across the sky, right by the moon, obviously. And uh it was Santa. It was on Christmas Eve? Yeah. Did anybody else see it? No. No, just you? Just me. But proof I got a letter saying And he talked about it? Yeah, I don't remember what the letter said and I don't have it anymore. What? I think he stole it. What? I think he came back and got it. He's like, no, this is this is too much. Believing is seeing, right? My next memory actually That's enough. <laughs> is the I don't I don't know if it was I don't think it was the same year. Oh. One year on Christmas morning we woke up and we had gotten a Nintendo game system. And that's like the old school Nintendo. And what's funny is that I guess Santa was really excited about the Nintendo. He had actually played our Nintendo whenever he left it at the house. Um, there were there were fingerprints on the keyboard with um, soot from, from the... Soot. Does anybody say soot? <laughs> <laughs> from the fireplace. And there were boot prints in the fireplace, in the ashes, and there were his fingerprints on the the game too. And so Santa had obviously played a little bit of Nintendo before he left it for us. And we all remember that too, because that was really cool. Santa played our video game. So he tested it out for us and it, it worked. We still have that console too. That's actually, uh, those are the main ones I have. And of course I have like little memories of like the time I wasn't allowed to get a disturbed CD, so I got a different like C like a Creed CD or something. I don't know. And that's when the Creed love started. No, I think Creed started before that. Oh. I think this masterpiece might be done. Yeah. Might as well start our own baking show. Oh my gosh. This is that like the show nailed it. <laughs> I do have one more memory. Oh, yeah? Um, so, I have always loved Christmas. Y'all might not know this. I've always I really, really that. loved Christmas. And when I was little, I had trouble sleeping on Christmas Eve. I don't think that that's uncommon that's to happen. That's pretty common, yeah. Um, but I remember waking up and I looked at my watch. I had an in sync light up watch, like you would press a button. And that, like, a little screen, you know, like the black and white pixelated screen. Oh, I'm aware. And it would play, like, five seconds of one of their songs. <laughs> and it would show them dancing on it. And, you know, it was, like, my favorite thing ever. It was, like, this big, too. <laughs> but I looked at my watch, and it was, I think it said it was 6.30. We have to show the finished product. You just dropped some. I think it said it was 6.30 on my watch. And so, um, at the time, my brother and I shared a room. And I was like, Parker, Parker, wake up. It's Christmas. We're going to go downstairs. And he looked at his clock, it was 3 o'clock a.m. My watch had broken, and so it wasn't telling the right time. <laughs> and so I laid there for like another hour, and I was like, it's gotta be time to go downstairs now, and it was like 4 or 4.30. You think and, Justin Timberlake would make a better product? And he was so annoyed. <laughs> um, I, I don't know, I think I might have gone back to sleep, probably didn't. I remember looking downstairs and seeing a light 
and wondering what that was, what present Santa had left, and it was a, a stereo, I think, for Candace. But I was so excited, and I just couldn't wait, and woke up way, way too early. Thanks, NSYNC. Thanks, JT. Yeah, you ruined a girl's <laughs> life. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the finished product here. Let me see if I can. Oh, that's so bad. It's so good. What happened? We decorated. How does it taste? It tastes all right. <laughs> Just all right? Yeah, yeah. You know, whenever you don't get presents for Christmas and you have that disappointment, that's what this tastes like. <laughs> Why are you still eating it? I don't know. It's still in front of me, isn't it? <laughs> delicious. It's a hot cocoa cake. It's delicious. You... I am offended, sir. I like that it's still kind of warm, but that makes sense why everything's so melted. You want to just feed each other? No! Why are you starting on that side? No! <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you all for tuning in to today's video. Hope you all did enjoy it. Thumbs up if you did. Um, let us know some of your favorite Christmas memories in the comments below. Let me know what else you want me to bake. Hand me that little thing. Surprise giveaway! Surprise! <laughs> One lucky winner. It's <laughs> like the cutest thing ever. It's all right. We found this at the store the other day and I was like, we have to get this. <laughs> I was like, we don't have to get it. <laughs> Y'all comment. Well, we're going to give it away. Y'all yeah. comment one of your favorite Christmas memories below and we'll pick our favorite. Sounds we'll pick good. our favorite and you will win this sweet little tinsel RV straight from Texas. Made with love. We didn't make it actually, but I was thinking about how easy it would be to make it. It's made in China. It's made in China. It's from Texas. Straight from Texas. From China. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and for some reason it went through Pennsylvania. <laughs> but it's cute as heck. So y'all comment your favorite Christmas memories below. Yeah. We'll pick one. This has traveled more than we have. <laughs> this RV has. Uh, and <laughs> then, right. now it's going to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thanks uh, for watching. Y'all be... Fine, take it. Mary yeah, take there. it. Yeah, be merry out there. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye. I'm like.